Push Upon a Star was established in 2012 by Rianne Mannings. Rianne lost her son unexpectedly. George was one. Um, he was at home where he suddenly had a seizure and was taken into the Royal Glamorgan Hospital where unfortunately he died. When they left the hospital, um, there was kind of no support available. Nobody came to visit the family or, um, you know, sort of provide that aftercare. Um, so following on from George's very sad death, tragically five days later, um, Paul, her husband, took his own life. Um, and Rianne believed um, that if anybody had come to visit the family and spoken to them directly about what had happened, then Paul may still be with us now. My name's Becky Jones and I am the Immediate Family Support Coordinator for To Wish Upon a Star. Generally, we work in partnership with the NHS and um, the police force forces across Wales and those referrals come directly into us and directly to me as the Immediate Family Support Coordinator. People are very individual in their approach to grief so we can't kind of put a template on things. Um, so we're very much, it's very person-led, um, person-centred um, support. So we take our, our sort of direction from the family and anybody that we would be supporting, um, you know, connected to that particular death. My friend contacted To Wish Upon a Star. We were made um, aware of the organisation through the hospital. Um, and um, within the first two weeks, um, Becky from To Wish came to visit us. And from that day forward, um, she's been very much a part of our family and there for us at every time that we've needed her without any um, worry. I visited Nicola, I think it was about three weeks after um, I'd had the original referral and I spoke to her and her daughter quite extensively. I think the visit lasted for about two and a half hours. Um, I don't put time limits on home visits, so again I'm there um, generally for families to just talk about whatever they need to in that time. Um, and from then on I visited Nicola quite frequently at home. I mean all deaths are really difficult. Um, but I think suicide is a bespoke kind of support for families. There's a lot of unanswered questions when a young person or a child takes their own life um, and um, it can be really, really difficult initially for families to even begin to, to you know, sort of process what's happened. There's a lot of guilt attached to that particular death in the sense that families feel as if they should perhaps have spotted any signs or you know, known that, you know, that their children were low in mood, or, but you know, we know now that isn't always the case. I think Nicola, as Tom's mum, um, you know, was very attuned to her son. She knew his, you know, when he was going through good periods and when he was using, he was going through particularly low periods. I know from previous roles and research of my own um, that substance, you know, sort of substance abuse can cause very poor mental health and can also have a you know a huge impact on your judgment and your thought processes as a young person developmentally that is catastrophic um, my first port of call is to contact the family directly the immediate family um, but we also branch out that support to um, witnesses of a tragic incidents so of sudden deaths um, professionals and um, extended families so aunties uncles friends and um, anybody in the wider community really can be supported by us if they've been affected by that particular death following on from that initial call I offer um, support um, during that call so I kind of explain to them how the process works um, and I keep in touch on a weekly basis just initially to start with generally families don't always remember um, what's been said to them on the first call so I keep that momentum going by uh, regular phone calls, establishing that relationship. It's a very holistic kind of environment and a very holistic support which is ongoing. Um, we don't discharge families so we work with them on a need basis and generally that need is what they kind of you know will indicate to us during our time together.